Hello, universe. Welcome to Digital Grid. My name is Godfrey Ozu, aka the Gentle Friend. Um, today I'll be teaching you um basic things in Blender. Well, um, I'll be teaching you basically how Blender works, the user interface, and everything. Basically, you can find in Blender. I'm currently using Blender 2.58.0. I also have then the 2.61 um, that has the cycles and all those things that I won't be talking about cycles I have a tutorial on cycles you can check that out okay so <clears throat> I press on escape or you right click in the box and um, you move on okay so I um, I create a cube and we go here um, just to know just to know when you open blender when you open blender initially um what you actually find is um the default you find default for example i open a new one by pressing ctrl n okay uh what you find is the default cube there's a cube that comes there by default okay um that's one thing about blender it has a default cube it brings on okay if you drag this out you see um the sections in which uh blenders are blender is divided and, and, and <clears throat> it's more like um, let's say Maya has all the tabs here polygon surface um, dynamics and all those things it looks very very similar and this this is these are how blender arranges it um, this first one is for rendering okay um, this way you set the resolution of the render and the frames okay aspect ratio the frame rate pretty easy and pretty understanding okay um if you want to add um sampled motion blur you add that with it okay some other pretty stuff yeah you can choose when you uncheck this this particular um the words pertaining to them wouldn't appear in your render and simply basically this is your render output um this is where the, the, the file the stores your thing is this is the format in which you store your file and um depending on, on the format for example let's say um 2.64 um it gives you a place not all the format but some of them gives you um, another option that's the encoding where you can choose um the things you want to do for example dvd and um it gives it gives you more option to do what you want to do all right <clears throat> to choose um everything okay that's um just about that okay we also have presets okay if you, if you don't know the settings you click them it gives you automatic setting for everything all right um one thing about it we also have render layers um it also works here. blender also uses layers to work we have the scene layers and we have the render layers they are quite different mask layers too are also quite different um these are for 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 basically um for what would i say uh, maybe compositing or something like that it's related and yeah this is this is the passes you also re blender also renders in passes and um you use the passes in the compositor Blender has an inbuilt compositor in it. Okay, and that the compositor can be found here. Yeah, you, you click on that and scroll down. This is the compositor, Blender's compositor. It's very powerful. Okay, let's move on. I uh, will move on to the next one, and this one um has basic um settings for the scene itself. Blender actually you can create more scenes in Blender, and this current scene we have is um the scene. It's normally named scene. The next thing you create to create a new scene, you click on this right arrow, and it brings down something. You can choose to create every something new, nothing in it. You can choose to copy everything that's in this current scene to the next scene, whatever you want to do. You can do it with it. But for now, these are just settings. You set it gravity, as you can see. And basically, basically that's for that. All right, let's move to the next one. This is the world. Um, you can see, you can see in here that this gray color. Is what is here okay it's like it's more like the atmosphere of your 3d 3d view what is here okay um what is that says um it gives you the color the horizon color chooses gives it the color okay um to, to, to view this let's 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 see something and come to display only render um you see how it comes like all right this is pretty cool okay so it, sh it shows you the render how it's gonna look like um, when you're done okay so let's leave that to it you can also add um, 
um, other things like ambient occlusion. We have ambient occlusion uh, in, in, in Blender as well. Environmental lighting, yeah, very similar. <clears throat> and indirect lighting, for, 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 for example, if you want objects um, to illuminate, um, kind of like um, maybe you want objects to, to, to show lights, maybe like a bulb or maybe glowing lights, glowing things. Yeah, if, if for example, uh, I want to jump early, um, let me just set it to about three, okay, and make it bluish, okay. All right, um, here, let me put this off, and um, let me let me let me make this big so we see everything here, okay. So basically, we have this, okay. Um, I want to, I want to delete the lamp in it so it doesn't really affect what we're doing right now. All right, so we're gonna render. We're about rendering. You press zero on your number pad, okay, to go to the camera view, right? And um, when what you notice that I clicked this cube, I added something called material and I give it an emit emit of three. Okay, for this to glow like light, normally if you render it this way, you don't see anything. It's it's purely black and stuff like that you don't see anything okay, let me make the, the, the world color as we did it was uh, gray so I bring it down yeah give it something like this okay so to see that because when we rendered it you see you can't find anything you can't really find anything so um to to have to have something glow around here what you have to do is turn on um indirect lighting okay indirect light now re let's render okay let's let's store this let's go to the next one and let me do something like this and let's see what happens okay for now you don't really see anything that's because you've not turned on um approximate um indirect lighting doesn't work with ray trace i don't know what maybe and then the few future blender it will start working i don't know why but um we're going to use approximate here so when i click approximate but this time it should come all right um, you can see it's, it's beginning to show up all right it's beginning to glow on the outside things here okay it's pretty cool all right so let's just continue without my talking that's one thing about that okay you move to the object what actually um, this object menu has is it stores the, all the information about this object you can find them here like the name of the object the location the parameters of the location parameters of the rotation the parameters of the scale as well okay we have the rotation method these are all methods you need to i don't know you need to work <laughs> they have all they have meanings um i think uh it has meanings i don't really understand them that much though but okay these are all informations part pertaining to this. this is the frame in which we find um this we can also move this particular cube to a different frame by pressing m um let's say you can represent that we move or move to a different layer when you press m something appears um you come here you click on the layer in which you want it to go okay let's say you want it to go on the fifth layer you click the fifth layer this time so when you go to the fifth layer it's only there okay so that's how we move from layers to layers these are the layers this is how you represent layers this is how, this is how um, blender represents its its own layers all right it's the first layer second third fourth fifth sixth not here okay so that's how we move um, basically um, so I'm not going to return it back to the frame one uh, do it the same way I did it I press an M on your keypad okay um, you press M on your keypad and press the first one it goes to the first frame so when I click the first frame I find it here okay this is basically how it is okay um, one thing I forgot on this this is um it's more like taking a picture getting a single image in blender to get a single image you click on this you get a single image okay now if you want to render animation this is what you use in rendering animation but we don't have we've not animated anything so we can't render anything <coughs> okay um let's go back we've done this we're done with this and basically some other few things here not important um for the constraints what it does is uh, <coughs> Um, it, it's more like um, limitation yeah it's more like limitation maybe you want you want um, objects to move 
but maybe in a certain distance in amount of distance maybe you want um, an object to move maybe two distance and it can move more than two distance just limiting it to something limiting it in a way okay you can limit it uh, with um, you can copy a location to something and paste it in something something like that you can also tra for tracking clamp to um, all has this related to um, rigging um, different different tracking to it's more of camera ish and um, all those things all has meanings photo path it's like um, you give you a, assigning an object to follow a certain curve you know it's, it's more like limiting limiting um, objects to something else okay that's what constraint does okay you go to modifiers this modifier is so 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 beautiful so powerful we have different modifiers here we have RA really really powerful you can learn more about that um, we probably I'll create some tutorials to um, very soon about on arrays but um, blend um, Andrew price has um Andrew price from blender guru has um good tutorials on array you can also read that bevel as well you click on that it bevels all the edges okay um I don't really want to talk about that much okay let's say array what array does is um it creates uh it creates uh, multiple multiple stuff okay it creates multiple things multiple objects from one single object okay um you can you can add as many arrays you want as many 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 arrays you want um as many as you want you can add as many as you want um okay let's say um on the y axis this time i want it to be on the y axis you can add as you want you can scale it down if you want to you know a lot a lot of things a lot of things this can even be used um, for for maybe a football stage, uh, maybe uh, something like uh, maybe a football pitch. You have chairs, and um, you can just make it up a little bit. You see, okay, you can even add more here. You can add more here, like that, like that, like that. You see, it's it's pretty much very very powerful. Uh, very very powerful sorry about that uh, very powerful increase the count here okay it's more like uh, you can use it for stadium you create one chair multiply them you can even rotate you can even bend them around curves and all these things it's pretty pretty much pretty much very very powerful okay um, much about that okay let's go back to a basic thing okay so that's about arrays, bevel, boolean, boolean, a lot of stuff. Build also has a lot of stuff. Um, I, I, I have another tutorial on modifiers. You can also learn that. Um, study that. You have a lot of amateur um, those with rigging. Cast is when you want to place, um, kind of like wrap something around um, another object, but that's in a different way. Kev is um, you assigning an object to along a curve, deforming an object along uh, a path. 3D, 3D mass uh, has that. Um, it's it's pretty much cool. Um, it's one one great advantage. Uh, it's very difficult for me to do that in Maya, but in Blender it's easy to to modify um, to deform objects along curves. It's very easy. Shrink wrap, as you understand it, as the word goes, it, that's what it means. Wave is a very very nice thing. Okay, let me show how waves works. Okay, um, you click the object you want to apply the wave to. You apply the wave like that. You just play. Let's play it and see what happens okay um it's moving right now just because i've not um subdivided it it's in single plane so i need to add some i pressed um by the way i used w i pressed w on my key part just to do it okay um i think you can also do it here um uh, to subdivide where is it where is it where is it i don't really know why i can find it but i'm just used to the shortcut so let's see let's play it and see okay all right basically very very beautiful you can tweak it you can reduce the height a little bit you can tweak it you can do a lot a lot of things with it okay that's just basically about the wave and I don't really want to talk about about the modifiers let's go to the um, <clears throat> object data this is where you can add um, things like vector script texture space shape keys shape keys is very very powerful UV texture vector colors um, very very powerful stuffs um shape kiss is very very powerful very 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 powerful using um facial rigging and all those things um dealing with curves and dealing with vertexes um that, that move basically basically it's really cool i have i have another tutorial of 
on how to use that and let's go to the material almighty material and uh, this is what happens um material is where you apply the material the color and everything transparency um specularity um um glossiness um ray tracing and all those things um are found here this is where you apply everything shadows and everything related to the material you find everything here the lambert the cook tone the cock tone and cook tone sorry emits and all those things transparency you can make an object transparent um just raise this up a little bit yeah, it just becomes transparent oh, this basic blender is so powerful easy to use and yes though gives you a very powerful uh, result okay that's basically about it and also to add textures to it for example you want to add um textures let's say um i want to add texture to this first before you add the texture to any material uh to any object the object needs needs a material okay before you can add listen before you can add any texture to a material in blender the mat the object itself must have a material or right, for example we created this um cube and it had no material there is no way we can <coughs> we can add um a texture but it won't affect i don't know why i don't know how you can do it affect it but in my opinion i think you need to add a texture to it okay with that you can work basically with it all right so let's let's say you add in you add in um i don't know if you can do it without a material but um it never works for me though so let's say um under the material the default one is cloud okay all right let's use cloud all right now if you add a cloud to it let's 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 see how it comes like okay you see you see what happens uh it, it gives you kind of a, a cloudish texture around it let's put up the specularity um, you put on spe this specularity. I don't like specularity that much, so I don't use it often. Let's re let's even put it off. Fine, um, totally. Okay, so let's go back to our texture, and um, you have the original color is blue, but you can find some pink things here. All right, this is due to um, the blend mode. You can change this color to whatever color you like. Um, you can bring it down to grayish color. You go there, you find it there, or you can make it white. Uh, I prefer white, okay. Uh, I prefer pure white, okay. So we can have varieties, okay. All right, now this is basically what this looks like. It's a cube, so let's use a cube. Okay, oh, let, let me use, I'm um, sorry, let me use a sphere by pressing Shift A. You create a new sphere, okay. Bring it down here, all right, okay. Um, I add the material to it, as I taught you earlier on click here add a texture the default is clouds okay um, let's smooth this by pressing this it's smooth okay um, okay so let's let's change this to pure white pure white okay it's already pure white no it's not pure white sorry it's pure white now and uh, let's go to both and let's see it's left with something uh, we need to change this to blue Okay, and uh, turn out the specularity. So let's go to texture. All right, we have it here. It's it's pretty cool, really really cool. Now there is something else I want to show you here. Okay, there is something else I want to show you here, and that is um, this. If you come down to the geometry, okay. Um, let's let's minimize this. Let's, uh, this is so we can really really work with this. You come down to the geometry. Watch this very very carefully. Okay. Watch this very very carefully. On under the geometry, I click on normal. When I click on normal, based on the texture, whatever the texture may be, based on the texture, it actually squeezes it out of it. It's more like a bump map in Maya. Yeah. Okay. Now that's what happens. Now let's render it and see how it looks like. Um, actually, we don't have a, a light. Um, that's why we can't see anything. So, I I I, I don't deleted the light. So, um, very fast way of doing it. Just um, put on the indirect lighting. Okay. So I put on uh, ambient occlusion, and let's render it. And let's see. Um, I don't really get what I want uh, at all, at all, at all, at all. Okay. Let, let's let me view it from the viewport. Let me scale it up. Okay. 
maybe that that'll give us um oh let me change the material okay, let me make it something like uh brownish maybe that will show up let me make um, the texture as well let me increase let me decrease that about yellowish color okay so let's see what happens in the show no 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 something is pretty wrong somewhere okay um what i'm going to do is i'm going to tweak the clouds uh, i'm going to give it hard okay let's now see something okay let me turn down let me turn this off i mean occlusion off let me let me let me add a real light okay uh, the point light i love point lights okay the point light is more like uh, lights shining from uh, lamps and all these things okay so i bring this here and I bring this here and now let's render and see what happens okay uh basically you see you see you see how it has affected it very nicely okay uh you see how it has affected um what we did very very nicely okay so um i think i added heart let's make it a soft one and okay the heart is better okay so let's tweak it a little bit tweak it a little bit okay let's render again and see um it's it's pretty cool you see how, how it works you can use any any texture at all you want okay uh let me use a different one let me use magics uh, it's not really really um okay there's another cool one all right um you see as i change it you know it, it's 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 really pretty cool okay that's much about that one thing about that you can also add images to your to, to text um that will be later you can do pretty pretty much a lot of things here okay and come to particles all right particles is um one great feature in blender um it's 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 really really amazing really really amazing yeah particles to add a particle you click here immediately you do that you click on play fantastic you start seeing particles coming out wow then the particle is simple to understand and uh, that's how to add particles to it okay you can also add hair you can also make it hair if you want um instead of um it dropping out like um particles how it drops out you can you know make it in a hair like form you can also use it as hair this is what is used mainly as um hair you can you reduce it with the hair length okay basically you can also go um to the particle mode okay to use um things like comb okay maybe i want to comb it up just comb it down fantastic you see that is really really cool like you comb in the hair you know it's really really nice you know basic basic things you can really do you can really stylish it you know you can add more you can add more particles okay all right let's go to object mode okay um you click on that um so it's all right somewhere okay so basically basically go to hair um ba -ba -da -ba -ba okay free edit i need to click free edit to edit it okay i can add more more i can add more more hair to it yeah i can add more more hair to it yeah just to give it that look okay uh, when i add that to i go back to particle mode okay and i click on comb all right and i just comb it down comb it down like that that's pretty cool much much like you comb in a real hair it's really really powerful really really powerful okay um you can also do something for you to to, to, to give it a um, specific places where it should do that um it's very simple what you have to do is um you go to the field weights okay um or not field weights sorry you go to i think vertex group okay you need to create uh, initially create um some let's free this first you need to create um a vertex paint something like that for it okay that that will be here okay create a vertex color or whatever okay you go in object mode you press control tab and it goes into where you paint um where you want the thing to affect for example i want it to affect here 
Um, assuming this is the face, okay, let me just reduce this. Wait, I don't want that there. So, assuming this is the face and other things, um, I don't want it to affect parts apart from there. And uh, let me just increase this. Okay, I want it here. Is the skull? Okay, let me, I want the strength top. Okay, this is the skull and other places. Okay, um, pretty much, pretty much cool. You add it, you add it there, the skull behind the head, and uh, sorry, well, I'm tweaking it. Okay, um, not forgetting your head, never forget that. Have your head, have your face in mind. Um, this is our own face, okay? Let's go back to the come. This is our own face. The blue part is where it's not going to affect, okay? So we've created a vectors group, all right? Now, this group, what do we want this group to represent? Do we want it to represent the length of it or the density or what? Okay, when we come into the particles mode, um, I want it to affect the length first. Okay, it has affected the length as you can see. Okay, uh, let me let me just you see it. Okay, um, the the red part the red part is the most concentrated part, followed by the yellow and the green. The blue is not even concentrated at all. Okay. Um, that's the length okay i also wanted to control the density all right so wherever wherever you find wherever you find um that it controls it so let's go to our particle mode and comb it down okay as in a hair light form you find that there's some places that don't have it that's our face you can put your eye here your nose and whatever you want to do you can create it with it all right, we have a lot of functions there. One thing about particles, um, it's really, really cool. Let's free edit it. It goes back to the normal one. Okay, so go back to um, object mode, emitter. We have a lot of things you can do with the emitter. You click it like that, it goes down. As going on, one thing I like about it is um, it has um, real time changing editing. Whatever you change here appears automatically there we have types of um types of um we can display it in different ways as a point as circles as a cross um different different so let's render it as a point i like a point okay um this has gonna affect it okay um <clears throat> andrew price has a lot of tutorials on some some of things like this so you can also learn from him um it's 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 the guy is good so let's say let me go to frame two and create something there maybe i create um okay i create a cube all right okay now sometimes you wonder if you want to do um to effects like maybe you create a christmas box and you want the christmas box to be falling like that differently what is very simple what you have to do is just um, create the model your christmas box here as in let's say this is your christmas box okay add a dynamics to it give it a, a plane whereby you can land on it and roll rigid body or static where it can roll and do all those things you also need to apply um a collision bound to this if you don't understand maybe as time goes on you understand but for you, those who don't understand um you need to learn more about that okay for example this are let's take this to be our christmas box I created in a different layer. Okay, that's the layer two. Uh, uh, layer two. I come to. I come back to layer one. Now, what I want to do is I want that particular box to be falling instead of these points. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to objects. Okay, and under the object it says um, render. Under the object or under the objects, this comes. Then I just click on what I want to appear. Okay. Now let's go back and play. Okay, um, I think I think there's something wrong. I think I need to use um, I need to use um, group instead. Okay, um, let's say I add this. Okay, let me create more. Let me create more more. Okay, add the monkey to it. Uh, where's this thing? Where's it going? Okay, I add the monkey to it. Let's scale it down a bit. I add another thing to it. Be a cone. Okay, uh, all right. I add them with different shapes with different sizes different rotations all right 
so uh, let me select all this by pressing b to give me the lasso select and i select that okay and i press ctrl g to add into a group anytime anytime you see something in green here it means it's in a group and this is the group name you can also change it to um particle fallings let's say particle fallings okay so that's cool all right let's go let's go to the first one okay i i right click on this to select blender uses right click to select i go to group um, i hope i'm not fast too fast and i click on the particular group i created right now okay let's go to the first one this should work this time around all right um okay i think the reason why we can't find anything the reason why that didn't show is because i represent i'm displaying it as uh, a point but if i click on rendered it should show what sorry about that i didn't see it earlier on it should show what i actually rendered so that's if that's even the same that means this worked if i had used the cube as well it would have worked okay yeah that's it the object it really worked okay you can also use objects okay i'm using objects now to render so whatever happens is you see it's coming down like that it's 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 actually vomiting uh that i can also want to increase it here okay when i increase it here it actually increases here so let me see if i can do some magic here um okay on this on this one i want frame one on this one i don't know if i can do frame two layer two sorry okay it has to go to both okay all right so one thing you need to know is um when you increase it here it increases there okay so let's go back it's very small okay let's change this to groups this time around i selected the particle fallings it has it has um it has multiple of things rendering okay um what i want to do is simple take it back okay all right so it actually brings down let me let me pause it and let me show you what it should, it's currently viewing uh we have we have basically our box our monkey and our cone okay that's what is dropping down simultaneously you can also um add various sizes different sizes some are big some are small and you can see the changes here okay all right the sizes of the whole thing you can also increase the sizes here as well instead of you going back to the frame to do it okay um i think this gives you a variety of sizes basically basically that's one thing about it and you know it's all you know you can also um do it you can also use a lot of things with blender all right so um let's 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 go to the last one okay i need to pause this for the sound to go um that's that's an alarm i'm in ghana right now and um i'm just um opposite the general post office in accra oh and uh every 12 o'clock <laughs> you know it's we get that kind of alarm and it's quite disturbing though all right let's move to this last one um this one is pretty pretty cool okay you can create sub bodies like flags like cloths like, um we have cloth we have something for cloth but you can create something like um flag or maybe uh um, um, how would i say it? um a cost um, is it costed no something very smooth very soft you know like a foam how the foam reacts and how it does this thing okay you see how uh, smooth and now i don't know like a yogi something like that um yogi is it yogi or yogi or whatever it is um yeah something like that you can you can create that with soft body okay so <clears throat> we can also create fluid i won't be doing that because it really takes time to do that i can create smoke with it smoke and fire with um this particular modifier it's a long way to go i wouldn't like to, to temper with that um, f um this force field actually affects whatever you create here okay uh, the force field actually gives you um a lot of things like dragon turbulence void um you should know void by now curve guy takes a lot of things these are wind types magnetic um we have um vortex we have wind a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot about everything you have collision as well um for example the particles that were coming down if you want you see when they were coming down it actually went down okay let me switch this off let me show you something about the particles okay um what really happened okay i think the particles are off sorry 
let me appear apply new particles to that let's i just want to show you something um something quite nice um particle falling okay so let's see all right um let's go to the front view and view something okay now you notice you notice that actually what this does is the particle falling down is actually passing through the plane okay which is not supposed to be so all right um when if we create a collision okay um it actually sorry a collision instead it won't pass through but rather it will bounce it off as it's doing right now okay so if you look down there's no more passing let me increase this to 500 okay all right nothing is passing down it's actually bouncing the thing back all right i have a lot of things that you can tweak okay uh, the stickiness okay if you wanted to stick more to it instead of bouncing yeah whatever hits it um sticks okay all right so let me just increase that a little bit okay yeah okay it's 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 basically it's basically it's pretty much pretty much everything it's bouncing a lot it's bouncing side and falling um it's falling through the side you some some things are falling it's not falling through but it's just passing around here maybe behind it and somewhere um actually actually that's 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 about it okay that's about it that's basically what collision does you know works with dynamics and all those things okay uh, basically we have that that's about um all this okay and um, we have all this outliner in maya um okay I, I always link things like this to maya because i'm also a maya user I love Maya so much, but there's some things I can't really do in Maya with ease. I do in Blender with ease and power. That's why I love Blender so much. All right, so here we find we have all the um, stuffs you can uh, maximize um, to see what you have down there. It's very similar to that of Maya. That it looks, it has more functions a little bit here. Okay, um, basically that's 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 one thing about it. We have add. This is where you click to add a lot of stuff instead of you pressing shift a uh, it's more like uh, blenders um, myers create okay um you go to create and all these things this is for blender it's called add okay so basically basically one thing about it that's it um what else what else okay um this this act this tab actually okay let me before before i go there let's let me teach you something when you come to this um editor type okay we have a lot of things here this currently is a 3d view all right i can i can take it to graph editor i love this graph editor so much it's really really powerful you might not see anything about it here you know it looks what's here what's here what's here but i tell you it's very very powerful okay we move to the dope sheet also powerful i use it a lot with shape keys and uh, other things shape key editor and other things okay nla as when you're rigging and you want to join like um Maybe you animated something like um, maybe a moving hand, a running, a running cycle. You've animated the running cycle. You've animated greeting cycle, bending cycle. For you to animate, for you to, um, maybe you want the person to walk along here, bend down, stand up again, and walk. You don't have to animate walking. Come and animate bending again. Come and animate a different type of walking. No, 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 no. What you have to do is animate one kind of walking. And I made one kind of bending, one kind of standing up, or you can reverse that if you like for the bending. And and so you have one walk cycle, one bend cycle, you can even add so all those things to add all of them will come to the NLA to add them maybe walking. It comes like the way you edit um in Premiere or any video editing software like Avid or something. Avid is also good. Um <clears throat> You have all that you edit like that maybe walking for some few frames you cut it you know you go into bending all these things so this is really nice that's what nla is really used for uv map editor um to unwrap things um okay it's really really powerful though uh we have the video sequence sequence editor um it has its own basic place okay we have to also do video editing in blender that's what it does okay it's pretty cool all right so let's go back to our default that's it's just pretty much pretty much text editor no 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 i can't really do all that so let's go back to a 3d view okay basically uh this is our timeline okay um we have the frame playback and all these things so this is where you set your start frame end frame your current frame 
you go to the first frame the, the beginning frame the end frame frames by frames okay you move frame by frame with this one okay um, I mean this actually moves on the keyframe um, frames it goes from keyframe to keyframe you actually use this to move from one frame to another okay you can play animations or whatever with this one you possibly can also reverse it with this kind of arrow it goes backwards instead of forward and basically basically that's one thing you need to know about blender and um uh we've learned about that okay here also if you um we have blender also has um can also work with multiple of um external renders <clears throat> okay to, to do that i go to i go to preferences user preference that's where you find it and um, blender 2.49 had it you actually drag this down you find it up there but uh this is quite different okay so um we come to render uh, we have some some rendering render, render engines here um you click on that click on that it's like that it's like that okay um okay i've activated um all the renderers um <clears throat> there so we have um render fam we have pov rail network render all it has its own way pov is a very powerful render uh one thing about that okay whatever you click here you can also edit with this particular ones here uh, pretty understandable uh, you can smooth it okay it's not it's, you can flat it again you get the original thing duplicate objects okay translate rotate and scale it's pretty much really really cool really really cool um i think um uh, basically with this you can start blender um you learn this you can start really working on blender i urge you if you really want to learn blender watch this video and keep on watching it over and over and over and over again to get things because definitely you will always miss things out because you don't understand them and I, the more you use blender the more you understand it okay so keep watch this video over and over and over again to understand blender okay um my name is godfrey Ouzo, aka the gentle fred and this tutorial i made for digital grade thanks for watching and bye